And I was very intrigued to ask you this question. What's your relationship like with yourself as a person, Fahad? And how has that grown over time? That I'm a plastic surgeon or an actor, or I do uh -huh. this or do that, or because you're a psychotherapist. No, we are special by virtue of he who created us. Painful, right? Like Painful, if you were a yeah. billionaire and the next day you're like a pauper on the street, how would you feel? actually helps me sort of you know connect to my creator even better right now and I actually feel goosebumps right now and now the greatest moment of my life is this moment because it's the only thing that I have so I recently recorded our mindful podcast with the one and only Fahad Mirza and let me tell you what an experience it was it was just amazing to come in a conversation with someone who had so much knowledge and wisdom to share. I'm so glad that I was able to engage in this conversation with Fahal and explore more around his life story, uh, his motivation to evolve as a human being, and also his insight around spirituality. It was quite interesting that we did not directly talk about spirituality in particular, but his every answer revolved around spirituality and that was beautiful so if you're looking for some food for thought i'd encourage you to make yourself a cuppa and sit and enjoy this podcast cheers all right welcome fahad we're online thank right now. Thank you, Sohail. Thank you so much. It's a it's a pleasure having you on the show, Fahad. Um, I've been listening to your podcast, um, especially the one with Junaid Akram that you did, and we were speaking about it um, before going online. And I felt like the depth that you had to offer um, was quite intriguing for me as a psychotherapist as well. And I was like, oh, I really need to do this with you. Um, and you were very approachable. So it is an extreme honor for me to have you today on the show. Heartfelt, thank you. Thank you, thank you, Suhail. It's a pleasure being here. It's a pleasure being able to talk about these things because we all uh, feed off each other and we all learn from each other. So like you said, maybe you will ask me the right questions and maybe that will unlock something within me for myself. You know, let's do this, man. That's right. All right. So maybe let's start with where we all started from, right? The childhood. Okay. Um, let's talk a bit more about what was Fahad Mirza like when he was growing up, right? So let's talk a bit more about that little child that was growing up. And how do you think that conditioning had an impact on you? Um, with who you are as an adult. Um, would you be open to sharing that with us? Yeah, why not? I mean, as a child, I was a regular child. We had a we had a very stable home, mashallah. Um, parents were always, you know, uh, their father, orthopedic surgeon, doing well, successful. Um, mother was okay. Mother just uh, focused on us. Education was key. <laughs> Um, just regular Pakistani upbringing but um, but I do know one thing that ever since um, I can remember my mother always um, used to tell me that I was special and that I was not just special in this world I was also special in God's eyes I was special in the way that I looked I was special in, in my physicality just she gave me the sense that I was special and so no matter and then obviously uh, WB Joby life me otara ups and downs this sense that she gave me that I was special was so deeply rooted inside me mm -hmm. that no matter what came I knew that I was special and it was only a matter of time before it showed so even when I felt that I was not confident, I would work to be confident because someone who's special is meant to be confident. So I'm not sure if I truly was special or not, but I think this belief that she gave me that I was special made me actually 
work or now we understand that whatever thought because you are the source so now we understand it going backwards that because such to such hota hai na jaya mm-hmm. follow kare na kare laws allah ki quran mein allah likhta hai ki never does allah change his sunnat to allah ki sunnat bhi allah ki sunnat hai to jo log aaj kal manifestation ki baat kar rahe hain ki aap source hain aur create aap karte hain aur aapki internal jo mindset of thoughts or feelings emotions hoti hai mirror your external reality ye ab लोग बातें कर रहे हैं बड़ी अब की बातें नहीं है ये हजारों साल पुरानी बातें अब इंस्टाग्राम की वजह से हम सबको पता चल रही है पहले बुधा की बातें लाउजू की बातें सिर्फ चाइना में ही लोग जानते थे कुछ लोग जो किताबें पढ़ लेते थे उन्हें सोशल मीडिया वी ऑल नो वट लाउजू सैड वी ऑल नो वट बुधा सैड वी ऑल बुधा तो खैर स्कूल में ही पढ़ाते थे बट नाउ वी ऑल नो यू नो कि ग्राशा में उस क्या कह रहा है या लाइक चेक ऑफ क्या कह रहा है यू नो वी ऑल नो एंड सो so now i and now i look back and i and i think that the i think the most beautiful thing that my mother gave me was the belief that she gave me that i was special and then i feel that i manifested that so this is what i'm trying to do with my children also uh-huh. give them the belief that they are special because the truth of the matter is that we are special like how can yeah. we not be special and we are not special because by virtue of the fact that i'm a plastic surgeon or an actor or i do this or do that or because you're a psychotherapist no we are special by virtue of he who created us so we are not special because of who we are we are special because of he who created us because he creates special things just as magnificent is mount everest just as magnificent is the sun just as magnificent as the milky way galaxy or the planet earth we are equally magnificent and not because we are magnificent it is because of he who created us because he only creates magnificent things so i'm special not because of us but because of him and we don't need to do anything to uphold his magnificence so all we need to do is just relax into our magnificence because we don't need to do anything to maintain our magnificence because we are magnificent Mm-hmm. We don't need to do anything to make this machine perfect. This machine is already perfect. We just need to relax and get out of its way. Mm-hmm. That's so right. Now, wow. now I know. Now I know. कि अब हम सब special हैं. पहले मैं समझता था मैं special हूँ. अब मुझे पता चला कि हम सब special हैं. No, that's that's quite inspiring because I think what you're saying is go to the root of it, isn't it? Because अगर आप special हैं, uh, we're already connected in some shape or form right so if you are special that makes me special and also someone who's hearing us right now is also special and that's the purpose of the podcast right whatever in the world they're listening to us whatever station in life they're at whatever place in life they're at maybe they're not doing so well in life they will suddenly be like oh okay okay now i'm special also what do i now i need to do something to make my to to to, to stay special or i have to do something to be special so this is what i'm trying to say we are special by virtue of our existence mm-hmm. so we don't have to do anything you see mm-hmm. we are already a masterpiece in action if anything we limit ourselves and we reduce ourselves so when we live we are when we are present in the moment and we don't let the monkey mind or the limited mind bring us down that's when who we are comes through so just sun bhi rahe na i would like to say that you are special but not because of what you're doing mm-hmm. by virtue of your existence so your starting point is amazing so just chill relax and relax into your being and let the body do what it does let the mind do what it does yeah thanks for sharing that for then while you were talking to the viewers i think i was trying to just receive all what you said right now because it's very true the core of our being right um uh, we go so busy in our lives try to become something and i think what you're referring to is the concept of being right instead of doing so and there's a lot of wisdom in just allowing ourselves to be as human beings and just accept who we are as individuals and it's a journey to be on so let's talk a bit more about that fahad because we all are human beings right we go through um all these different phases in our lives right where we evolve as a human being and start accepting ourselves even better while while listening to the podcasts that i listened to i felt like 
you know, probably this was a phase of life, and I can be completely wrong here, where you're feeling quite connected to yourself as a person. And I was very intrigued to ask you this question. What's your relationship like with yourself as a person, Fahad? And how has that grown over time? So you see, I this is why I tell people that I, I was made to go through the darkness. I was made to walk on the bed of thorns. I was made to grope my way and find my way in the darkness just so I could lead others out of their darkness. Mm. So my relationship with myself was a pretty tortured one. I had a very, very negative self-critic, inner critic. I was very hard on myself. No matter what I did, it was never good enough. And I had to really push myself. And I used to believe that even if I want to get an inch in life, I have to give my life for it, just to get an inch in life. And obviously, insan jo guman Allah se rakhega, phir Allah wohi guman insan se rakhega. So if I felt that I was doing everything, and for everything I had to give my life just to get a small inch also, so phir wohi hota hai. Because jo aap guman rakhte hain, phir waise hi hota hai. Ya aapka ma, you convince yourself that you are Atlas and you're carrying the weight of the world on your shoulders. And aap ki kya hokaat hai? Aap to apne baal ginne se nahi rok sakte. <laughs> so when you take all that load on you, there's only misery and suffering because you are not capable of it. There's no way you are. You're not designed to be. That's not your role. Yet you insist on taking on that role. You know, Imam Ghazali said, your neglect in what is expected of you and your endeavors in what is promised to you, your neglect in what is expected of you, and all your endeavors and hard work in what is promised to you is a sign of the blurring of your intellect. Like, like, aapse, aapse jo expect kiya ja rahe, usko aap bilkul ignore kar diya aapne. Aur jiska aapse vada kiya ke bhai, ye to ho rahe, usme aapne puri jaan laga diya. Usme aap full mehnat kar rahe. Like, and Imam Ghazali says it's a sign of the blurring of your of your intellect. It means you've lost your marbles. You see, so, so wohi wali baat hai that I used to feel that everything I have to do myself. Mm-hmm. And uh, obviously, it was a very fractured, and obviously there was a lot of self-belief also. So it was light and dark, light and dark. And uh, there was a lot of self-doubt. But there's also a lot of self-belief. Lekin, there was a lot of wali, and it's not unique to me. I think 99.9% of human beings have that situation. Mm-hmm. And gradually, 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 I'm beginning to like I was very hard on myself, on my body. I rejected parts of my body. Uh, for the longest time, when I would see my face, all I could see was my laugh lines. I could never see what I looked like. I never, I always thought that maybe if I if I fix my hair a bit more, I'll look better. But I could never see myself what I looked like. Only two, three years ago, did I, when I started, um, when my time came, when I started meditating, when the time was right, when I started relaxing into myself, started meditating, looking at the nature of the mind, looking at thought, looking at how my eye was constructed, all these uh, programming inside me, was I then able to truly see that I was a really beautiful human being inside out. And I was also sculpted really beautifully outside also. So now whenever I look at myself, there's nothing that needs to be done. There's just something to be appreciated. Just as you would appreciate a work of art. Like I'm a lover of beauty. I love art. I love beautiful things. So now when I look at myself in the mirror, I don't look at anything that I want to correct. I just look and I admire and I appreciate. And I think that's also something that I... Obviously, also, you know, if you understand that the mind is very limiting, but the heart is unlimited because it's, it's, it's connected to God. Like Rumi says, the mind says that you're not worthy, but the heart says that you are. Mm-hmm. And similarly, if you listen to the mind, then you're not worthy because you haven't become the greatest plastic surgeon in the world, or you haven't become, you haven't liberated your country from tyranny or oppression, or you haven't helped the world, or you haven't achieved this, you haven't achieved that. But that was, that's what the mind would say, so you're not great. 
or you're not worthy. But the heart tells you that, listen, whatever you do, whatever you achieve in life, you will still not be able to outdo who you already are by <laughs> virtue of your existence. So you are worthy because not because of you, but because of he who made you. So, you know, the up, there's a lot of beauty in life. There's a lot of hope in life. There's a lot of pleasure in life because now it's because because now there is no future and now the greatest moment of my life is this moment because it's the only thing that i have so whatever may have happened in the past is gone however amazing sad whatever it was it's gone but what is happening now is all i have so this essentially is the most beautiful moment of my life that's how i live now and so if you live like that, it's a, it's a beautiful place to be. And I feel that, you know, I, obviously the goal is to seek the ultimate truth, which is God, because God is the greatest treasure in, the all, in all of existence. And he's up for grabs in this world, you know, and you can find him in this world. And you're like, what <laughs> bull crap is that? What sort of bull crap is that? But now you know. He's up for grabs. And he is the best prize. Jannat, those are bullshit. You should be. You know. You should be. Khalil Gibran ki ek, uh, ek wo prayer pe usne I mean, Khalil, read this book, The Prophet by Khalil Gibran. It's amazing. And uske andar, usse hota hai ke, ask us to ask more of you. Ask us to ask more of you. And in asking more of you, we will be given everything. Rumi Kata, in my one desire to know you, finished all my other desires. Oh. So, yeah, so, so the ultimate goal is to be one with God because you, God is essentially the only reality, you know, and uh, he's the, he's the, he's what fills this cup. This cup is just a cup made of clay. It is, he essentially, who fires this body. If you remove my spirit from this body, this body is not me. This body is just the garment, the raiment that I wear. Uh -huh. So when you take the essential root out of this body, this body ceases to exist. This body ka wasn't ek atom's breath bhi kam nahi hoga. But his body would... So this body is not me. There is something else that is in me. And that is... That is the root, the spirit of God that he says in the Quran that I created man from clay and then I breathed into him of my spirit. You know, you know, uh, do you creation ki story? Pata hai? Are you familiar with the creation story? I would, I would love to hear it from your yeah, perspective. But I'm asking, are you aware of it? Uh, not, not as much. I've, I've you know, heard about it. <laughs> you know, when God created man, God says, I created man from clay. And then breathed into him of my spirit. Correct. And then I breathed into him of my spirit. Mm -hmm. So, the only Almighty Allah. The only Almighty Allah. But in the creation Correct. story in Quran, he says that God created man from clay. And then once he created man, he asked all the angels to prostrate themselves before Adam. And then they called Iblis. Shaitan, right? And then he asked him to prostrate in front of Adam. He said, why should I bow in front of him? Mm -hmm. I am superior than him for he is created from clay and I have been created from smokeless fire. And now we know, thanks to Einstein, matter and energy. Mm -hmm. Matter is clay and what is smokeless fire? Energy. energy, laser yeah. energy, smokeless fire. Energy doesn't emit smoke. Mm. Huh? Said I've been created from smokeless fire. I am more superior to him. Energy is more superior to matter. Why should I bow in front of him? Mm -hmm. But you see, uh, again, this ties into the question that you asked, that ultimate goal is to find the ultimate truth. And the ultimate enemy is your ego. So, ego itni, ego itni taakatwa cheez hai. Ego itni taakatwa cheez hai. 
कि उसने इतनी सेंचुरीज ओल्ड द मोस्ट फेवर्ड ऑफ द फेवर्ड इबलीस वाज़ द मोस्ट फेवर्ड बीइंग इन ऑल ऑफ द कॉस्मोस वाइज बियॉन्ड इयर्स प्रेजेंट फॉर मिलेनिया thousands and thousands who knows maybe billions of years since the universe he was must have been created very early on such a wise elemental being ego ne usko bhi usko bhi trick kar diya mm. and ego ne usko bhi ye nahi dekhne diya ke allah taala us matti ke putle ko sajda nahi karwa raha tha mm. us matti ke putle mein chupe apne aap को सजदा करवा तो जिस तरह शैतान की और इमेजिन नोइंग लाइक इमेजिन इफ यू नोन द ग्रेटेस्ट रिचेस इन योर लाइफ एंड हैड द मोस्ट ब्यूटीफुल वुमेन इन योर लाइफ और व्हाटएवर इज योर इंक्लिनेशन हाउएवर इट वर्क्स फॉर वन एंड देन टू हैव दैट एंड टू हैव दैट टेकन अवे फ्रॉम यू हाउ वुड दैट फील या प्रीटी एम्प्टी आई वुड से पेनफुल राइट Like Painful, if you were a billionaire yeah. and the next day you're like a pauper on the street, how would you feel? Yeah, well, like, just say, Allah, 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 paise, paise dikhaye, lekin paise na dikhaye, lekin dikhaa ke le na le, to na hi dikhaye. Okay. That's right. After rich, after riches, don't show us poverty. Either keep us poor, but after riches, don't don't make us poor again. Mm-hmm. Have you, have you, can you understand that feeling of being a billionaire one day and being nothing the other day? Yeah. Yeah. Not not imagine. yet, but I can I can only imagine you how imagine, that might guys. feel. So yeah. imagine, so imagine having God and being close to God and being His favorite. Imagine that station. It is incomparable. That that station, that feeling of being the closest to God, and then because of your ego, you lose that. Imagine the pain and suffering of losing God after having seen Him. Can you imagine that? You can't even conceive of that. Mm-hmm. And Satan's ki ego made him lose God. So Satan pe bhi aapko pity aani chahiye, bichare pe, because he was also beguiled by his ego. So just that Satan's ki ego ne Satan ko ye dekhne nahi diya ke. उस मट्टी के पुतले में कौन था उसी तरह आपकी ईगो आपको ही नहीं देखने देती कि इस मट्टी के पुतले में कौन छुपा है ना थैंक यू फहद आई फील ये स्टोरी मैंने बहुत पहले जो है सुनी थी एंड नाउ जस्ट रिफ्रेशिंग दिस एक्चुअली हेल्प्स मी सर यू नो कनेक्ट to my creator even better right now and actually feel goosebumps right now to to have listened uh, to it um um just just in this moment so um thank you for for you know almost preaching i feel like uh you know i needed to hear this um and thank you for sharing this with me right now and i think while you talk i don't feel a need to speak at all um uh, because i think speaking is a defense uh and i'm quite aware of of that so i feel like it it has been lovely just to be able to hear you out um and while i speak also hear myself back and see you know how am i really feeling in this moment generally i'm known to make my clients feel something in the room so that's what i do um you know it's the experience that i share relationally with my clients but i do feel an energy right now that's making me feel quite a lot and i need to probably process that um after the podcast so maybe let's come to you know um the little can i also the little... you, can i can i also tell you another thing mm-hmm. don't process it mm-hmm. you don't don't process it that's mm-hmm. that's one of the biggest traps that i also uh, was and osho helped me out you know i think osho is one person who's really helped me out i'm grateful to god for sending osho to this planet and uh, that i was i read his work i think he's one of the greatest intellects of the past century mm-hmm. probably to be to be ever i mean he is just an un- un- amazing to osho ne to mere liye hota tha ki koi bhi experience jo mere hua mera mind kehta tha ki complete nahi hai jab tak main involved nahi hunga jab tak main isko process nahi karunga ye experience tum mein complete nahi hua so whatever i felt till i had not intellectualized it it wouldn't be complete okay mm-hmm. and um 
and obviously uh, how can you intellectualize being in love how can you intellectualize being ecstatic you will always limit it every time the mind is in there's an intelligence beyond the intellect and it's much bigger than the intellect every time that the intellect is involved you are limiting yourself so but i would do this and i distinctly remember the thought that till i don't intellectualize it till i don't process it the experience is not complete that i need to do something more with this experience yeah. other than living it i need to do something post experience to to feel that right and so i so ye bhi allah hi guide karta hai allah hi cheeze bhejta hai aapke paas main ek din insta youtube pe osho ko sun raha tha tum bhi osho ko suna kar raha hai to osho kehta hai ke मैं आपको मिसाल इसकी देता हूँ कि लेट्स से दिस इज ओशो बट आई पुट इन माय वर्ड्स लेट्स से दैट आई यू हैव बीन इन द डेजर्ट फॉर थ्री डेज ओके एंड यू आर डाइंग ऑफ थर्स नाउ एंड यू बेली अलाइव एंड आई थिंक इन अनदर फ्यू मोर मिनट्स इफ यू डोंट फाइंड वाटर यू आर अबाउट टू डाई एंड देन ऑल ऑफ अ सडन जस्ट वेन यू लूज एवरी स्ट्रेंथ इन योर बॉडी एंड यू कोलैप्स you put your head up and you see that there's an oasis in front of you mm. and all of a sudden with renewed energy you get up you get every every ounce of energy left every part of your sign you together and you just run you run because you know that if this oasis is a mirage then you're dead because you that's only energy that you had left you put into mm. running towards the oasis then you run 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 and then you run and suddenly you see that there's a well and you just reach the edge of the well and you collapse because now there's no energy left of exhaustion you collapse right next to the edge of the well and guess what i'm sitting on the well and you like pani pani please pani de do and i'm like ha ah, pani yes h2o it's a colorless odorless substance giving life on the planet you know if there was no water there would be no life on the planet mm-hmm. you know if i don't give you water you will not sustain yourself Do you know that the human being is seventy percent uh, water by weight? Did you know that? Absolutely, and, yes, uh, and, and, and that that is quite intriguing. And, isn't and, it? And I, mm. But but if I was to say that to you, what would you say to me? You'd be like, "Give me the water! I am dying. What do I care about what the water sounds like, or what the water is, or what the properties Correct. of water are, or what the water does? Give me water! What do I care about the intellectualization of water? Give me water! Mm-hmm. Do you get it?" and yeah. once you drink that water will you allow that water to do for you what the water does or will you start talking about the qualities of water again or will you mm. feel that water on you and will you feel the, the 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 experience of drinking that water and allowing that water to do for you what it does mind ka kya kaam hai what does the mind have to do with this why does it have to get involved why does it have to get involved the birds this is osho saying now is not is osho the birds mm-hmm. in the trees are 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 sitting on the trees singing in the trees making the nests in the trees are they are they talking about the intellectualization of the trees are they talking about the properties of the trees or are they experiencing the tree mm-hmm. do they have to give anything to the tree do they have to think about the properties of the tree no do have to do they have to intellectualize that process do they have to process the tree or process the experience or they just living their experience to get it i do so absolutely when you're saying that you will process something that's happening mm-hmm. now you're missing it because mm-hmm. your your ability and your being is infinitely bigger than your limited mind mm-hmm. so you have processed it it's there what you felt was it stay mm-hmm. with that stay with that what you felt the goosebumps whatever you felt internally was it stay with that and your being now knows you don't need to further process it or you can think about it you can make your notes about it but the feeling the experience you got to go through it processing is secondary it's inferior mm-hmm. superior is the moment when you feel it when it's happening for you so if you don't do this then osho says you're missing mm, that's right so i think it's, it's more like, is it more like um i do understand when you talk about rationalization being more inferior than the experience of the moment in itself right um but how do you like if you if you want to 
draw a meaning out of it or an understanding out of it um you know once you move past that experience to be able to register that um is is there a way that you could do that let's say so if you're not rationalizing if you're if you're not using our brain as an instrument to be able to really draw a meaning out of it what can we do instead to still be able to register that experience no. So, so you see, brain is different, mind is different. Mm -hmm. I'm not the brain. You see, Buddha said that the mind is a beautiful servant, but a terrible master. Mm -hmm. Okay. So, mind to a powerful organ. Hai. Mind to, just say, iPhone, to my phone, what's it? iPhone? Hai. iPhone. You never have to be airdrop. Bilkul. Do you know that the human body is the most advanced technology in the known universe? Because, I it's, God's, because yes. it's God's technology. This technology mm -hmm. is billions of light years ahead of our technology. So if you have a crappy iPhone, 15, 14 Pro Max, you mm. crappy iPhone, obviously mm. it's not compared to God's technology, is it? Definitely. This crappy iPhone, Agar without touching another iPhone, can through airdrop sense that another iPhone is closed and convey files and information without right then to another phone, without touching, without talking, without anything. Do you not think that the most powerful organ that created the iPhone would also be conveying information to the universe around you? Uh -huh. Would also be without silently conveying things and the universe would then be responding to that information, which is internally the situation or externally reflect over here. Mm -hmm. So, so the mind is a very powerful thing. Now, when you talk about processing, then the mind is going to bring its own things. So, you want to just, so what you heard, your subconscious is going to process it. Mm -hmm. Thoughts will come to your mind. Use your mind. Ko istamal karo. Or yes, think about things, use your mind, but use it as a servant, not as a master. Don't be like that. I need to process this. You've experienced it. That was the main thing. A lot of things will automatically happen. Like I said, the machine is already perfect. You just need to get out of its way. If anything, mm -hmm. like when you try to control your breathing, what happens? When you become conscious of your breathing, then what happens? Yeah, that's you, when it gets out of control. Yeah. That's when you mess it up. You <laughs> yeah, get what I'm right. saying. So mm -hmm. trust the system. Tumare and the tumare awareness agi ki I need to this in this conversation that we had, I need to make notes. And now you mm -hmm. think about it. Sure, read it, go through it, make notes, think about it. Sure. But jo tumhe feeling us time aai, mm -hmm. uske baad jab tum karoge to wo inferior hoega. Obviously, you will then process and help other people with it, whatever you want to do with it. Mm -hmm. But but that will be for a future event. But the moment that you're having now is the only thing that you have. So in this moment, you've got to be fully present for that. Mm. Future will bring that. So in, in your mind, you're like, okay, fine. I need to make a note. I'll sit down and, and, and do this. But right now, I need to feel this. I need to experience this. Correct. Correct. Or, or trust your body. I promise you, it'll never let you down. Mm. Uh, thanks, thanks for sharing that wisdom, Fahab. Um, and I think it, it is Jam right. Um, and I would definitely say it or not. I definitely have to sit with it <laughs> and try my best to be able to draw a meaning out of it to be able to help you know others um, around me. Inshallah. Maybe let's talk. Inshallah. Maybe let's talk a bit more about mental health, right? Um, what what is your perception? Because you're one of the you know biggest plastic surgeons um, in Pakistan and very well known for the work that you do. And I really like how you call yourself an artist because I'm a big fan of Carl Jung's work, right? And um, just the just the depth mm -hmm. of the art. And um, have you have you read much about Carl Jung? And I, you know, what I, he is one of my he is one of my most favorite people to have ever lived. He is mm -hmm. my inspiration, Carl Jung. Yeah individuation process Carl Jung said that you don't become enlightened by imagining figures of light you mm -hmm. become enlightened by bringing Shut the darkness to light Carl Jung, and i love Carl Jung because he's also very spiritual 
तो द कलेक्टिव अनकॉन्शियस द इंडिविजुअल अनकॉन्शियस द कार्ल युंग तो बड़ा मैं तो बहुत किताब भी पढ़ी है आई रीड हिज कोट्स आई रीड हिज YouTube इज अ ग्रेट रिसोर्स दैट इट्स अ वेरी इजी वे ऑफ ऑफ रीडिंग समवंस um uh, their their philosophy what they thought so carl jung is a very central figure in in shaping me and in spirit and one of the lights that i look to in my search through this uh he's one of the lighthouses in my search to find my truth he is one of my guides he lovely is. lovely no it's great i share that um with jung as well um i did study him quite in detail about his red book and everything and i was quite inspired by the magic of the unconscious that he put out on a piece of paper as well so what do you think about you tell know, me your um, most favorite thing about jung tell me about jung if you read so much because i would like to know about jung yeah i think for jung tell um, me your insight on jung yeah i think for me jung is you know almost the universe inside of a man right so that's how i perceive him to be and the different parts that he talks about is quite intriguing to me so a lot of times people talk about you know acha main to acha nahi dikhta ya main to you know is cheez mein acha nahi hu or you know i'm just a um let's say psychotherapist so but he talks about you know the different sides of you and also the the duality that you can hold so you can be good enough but not be good enough at the same time so you could be very confident as a person yet be you know very shy in certain situations you could be very intelligent yet be very stupid and being able to hold that light and the shadow together at the same time is the beauty of you know the jung's experience so i really like how his work goes like this and it comes together quite holistically so yeah that's the beauty for jung um that that i hold in my heart yeah very nice Very nice. Yeah, I think that that also kind of explains me very well. When you ask growing up, that I was very confident yet very shy also. Hmm. Yeah. 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 So having that duality, isn't it? So in terms of mental health, I think coming to the question, um, a lot of people come to you, and I did hear it in the podcast. Ten people come to you. Eight people. बेचारे वापस घर चले जाते हैं दो लोग जो हैं वो ऑपरेट कराते हैं ठीक है टॉक अ बिट मोर अबाउट दिस फहद बिकॉज आई वाज आई वाज क्वाइट इंट्रीड व्हेन यू सेड दैट ऑन द पॉडकास्ट um दैट यू नो व्हाट यू प्रेफर डूइंग इज सिटिंग विद देम um एंड आल्सो द स्टोरी ऑफ द मिरर राइट आई फाउंड दैट फैसिनेटिंग व्हेन यू टॉक्ड अबाउट नॉट बीइंग एबल टू सी योरसेल्फ इन इन अ 3D व्यू सो यू कांट सी मी or you can see me how i look and you can't see yourself how you look um exactly talk a bit more about this ke kitna kitna zyada it's more about being able to accept yourself how you look um as compared to you know wo art log kon hai jo ghar chale jate hain why do you tell them not to you know go ahead with the procedure and why do you choose to work with just those two people let's say talk Because a bit more what? about your process Because... बिकॉज वो आर्ट लोग वो लकी लोग होते हैं जो एक्चुअली बहुत खूबसूरत होते हैं जो दो बेचारे होते हैं वो लकी होते हैं बट अनलकी तो खैर मैं नहीं बोलूंगा बट देखो आई सी माई सेल्फ इज समन हु ब्रिंग्स लाइट इन टू समन लाइफ ओके आई सी माई सेल्फ एज एलिविएटिंग समन पेन एंड सफरिंग आई सी माई सेल्फ एज अ प्रॉब्लम सॉल्वर नाइट द प्रॉब्लम ले इन द नोज आई विल फिक्स द नोज but if the problem lay in the some in the in the person who is perceiving the nose then i will try to give awareness to the one who is perceiving the nose mm-hmm. and an example mm-hmm. that i would tell them is ke aapko ek ferrari mili hui hai uh-huh. aur aapko pata hi nahi hai aapke paas ferrari aap samajh rahe hain fx hai uh-huh. to ferrari ki galti hai ya aapki galti hai definitely aapki galti hai i personally i can relate to this example um and and i feel it's the it's just the power of the mind it's that feeling when you get that this so yeah. ye to garment hai na ye to aap hai mm. nahi you are mm. the spirit that fires this now even if let's say you get like a not a very good looking garment to wear in this life you don't get a very beautiful garment but your spirit is still not this garment it's like when you sit in a corolla or you sit in a ferrari none of it rubs on you right Uh-huh. From a, from a Corolla, you go to a Ferrari. Ferrari, you, you're in a Ferrari then, right? It, none of it rubs on you, but you can let the color of this garment taint your soul. 
so let's say if you're not beautiful or if you have a deformity or if you have a handicap but that's this garment but if you <laughs> identify so completely with this garment and you feel that you are restricted then that energy that emotion will then translate into your spirit mm -hmm. which essentially was independent of this garment but now it's mm -hmm. colored by this garment and that spirit will then take that so so also what i try to tell myself is no matter what happens to me allah you know the future is completely uncertain ek second ka nahi pata hai aur ye zindagi ki beauty bhi hai because allah likh raha hai ye kahani aur acha bhi hoga to usi se aayega bura bhi hoga to usi se aayega to phir darna kya lekin you don't want this garment to color your spirit even if it's good you don't want this garment to make your spirit egotistical and haughty and and anything just wo rudyard kipling kehta hai ke to meet triumph and disaster to meet triumph and disaster and treat both these two imposters the same right because jitta triumph एक इम्पोस्टर उतना ही डिजास्टर भी इम्पोस्टर बिकॉज नन ऑफ दम आर रियल बट बट बाय बिलीविंग वन एंड नॉट द अदर सो यू सी द वे दैट यू कैन गेट रिड ऑफ फीलिंग बैड इज आल्सो बाय फील नॉट फीलिंग इलेटेड व्हेन यू फील गुड लाइक फील ग्रेट बट नो दैट दिस इज आल्सो जस्ट एज ट्रांजिएंट एज द फीलिंग बैड और जस्ट एज नॉट रियल एज द फीलिंग बैड सो वंस यू अंडरस्टैंड दैट देन इवन द गुड और द बैड यू आर एंजॉयिंग बोथ the good you also enjoying and the bad you also enjoying and that is true bliss that's true liberation moksha jo kehte hain that's true liberation when you understand that no matter what happens in this life even if they kill you like rumi kehta hai ke when you wake up you will laugh at what you thought was your sorrow right. let's say we this is like a three dimensional virtual reality agar aaj kal ke wo meta quest aur ye apple ke virtual reality itne real lagte hain to god ki reality kaisi hogi गॉड की वर्चुअल रियलिटी कैसे होगी सो वो तो अल्लाह तो अल्लाह तो बना तो अल्लाह के लिए क्या है कुन फे कुन सब बना दिया सो सो तो अल्लाह ताला कुरान में भी लिखता है दैट द लाइफ ऑफ दिस वर्ल्ड इज बट एन इलूजन इफ यू ओनली न्यू सो नो मैटर व्हाट हैपेंस टू यू इन दिस अब जैसे हजरत इमाम हुसैन है अब हजरत इमाम हुसैन की जब बारी आई अब देखो मैं यू नो हिस्ट्री तो हमेशा से होती है बट आप जाग जाते हो उसको समझने के लिए हम्म the events were always there because i always saw hazrat imam hussain uh, shahadat and the event of karbala as a needless sacrifice i used to think that why did the prophet's family need to get embroiled in that political conflict as a political conflict right who cares about in kya to domain spiritual tha hmm. their 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 uh, kingdom was that of the spirit not of the temporal kingdom the spiritual kingdom why did he get involved why did he have to let you see the rule it's okay let him rule i didn't understand Like I'll be after uh, a lot of what my own self that I went through, and then also looking at what happened with in our country with Imran Khan and speaking for the right and how the people stood up and how they were treated and how they were abused and everything. So, then when Karbala last Karbala, when Muharram came, so then I then I revisited this. At that time, then I got this idea that all of them came to me and said that of all the people, of all the people. in the muslim ummah when for the first time the prophet's tenets were being broken pehli dafa prophet ka tenet toda ja raha tha aur khilafat was was being transferred from father to son like a family heirloom this is the first time the prophet's tenet was being broken so it was it was a duty of every muslim to call it out jaise aaj ziyati hoti hai gaza mein har aadmi bol raha hai na har aadmi ki duty hai na bolna kya keh rahe log that call it out the least you can do is call it out your silence enables them correct your silence enables them so it was every muslim's duty to call it out right ki ye kyun ho raha hai galat ho raha hai rasulullah sallallahu alaihi wasallam rasulullah sallallahu alaihi wasallam ke tenets ko toda ja raha hai kyun ho raha hai but of all the people alive then sabse zyada ye incumbent was on the only living descendant of the prophet his grandson to mm. actually do something about it because of all the living people then उनकी तो ये डायरेक्ट रिस्पॉन्सिबिलिटी थी टू एक्चुअली स्टैंड अप एंड कॉल इट आउट उनके लिए तो पूरी दुनिया तंग हो गई थी वो होता है ना कि चाहे पूरी दुनिया आपके लिए हो बट आपको पता है कि डेस्टिनी यही बुला रही है आप कुछ भी कर लें आपने जाना यही है सो नोइंग दैट ही वॉज वॉकिंग इन टू अ डेथ ट्रैप ही न्यू 
that this was a death trap. Knowing that he was walking into a death trap, he still went forward because this was the only way forward because this was his destiny. And this was the choice that he had to make. Either he could live for another 30 more years or he could do this and stand up for what is right. And then you know how God rewards those that stand up for the right. And once he was like, yes, thank God I made the right choice. Because that was all an illusion. And all those that persecuted him, once their eyes closed, they were like, oh my God, oh no, damn, crap, we made the wrong choice. So, you understand this thing. So, if you understand that the world of life, and I'm also trying to apply it to you, that the world of life is a test. That's why it's called Leo Tolstoy. Everything comes in time to him who knows how to wait. So, if you understand that you're a timeless eternal being, and this life is just one of many lives, and this garment is of many garments that I will wear, then whatever you desire will eventually come all mm-hmm. you got to do is just be patient right so 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 you see usi tarah ab jaise socrates ki main misal batata hu socrates uh, you know once he something similar jab socrates had been preaching in athens and uh, all these people once he and you know jab jab such aata hai or progressive ideas aate hain generally youth are the one that takes to them quicker the older ones resist them because unki dhihadiyan set hui hoti hain unke kaam economic set hue hote hain they don't want any change they just want status quo to stay jaise yes, pakistan mein bhi dekh rahe hain that people want the status quo no matter how toxic it is and how it's going to destroy the country they want the status quo to remain the same in even though they know that it's going to eventually take the country towards an iceberg it's like the titanic is heading straight for an iceberg but they don't want to change course so socrates jab bahut popular ho gaya to jo aur uske ideas bahut progressive the to jo athens ke rulers the they then said ki bhai we need to do something about this guy so they did a fake trial or fake witnesses bula ke they condemned him and and the charge was that he's corrupting the youth of athens and blasphemy उस जमाने में मल्टीपल गॉड्स होते थे और वो मल्टीपल गॉड्स के खिलाफ बोल रहा था कि वन गॉड टाइप बात कर रहा था इस तरह का कुछ था सो उन्होंने बोला ब्लास्फेमी करप्टिंग द यूथ ऑफ एथेंस व्हाटएवर एसेंशियली द रीजन ये था कि उनकी दिहाड़ी को उनकी पावर को चैलेंज कर रहा था ना तो दे हैड टू ट्रंप अप चार्जेस अगेंस्ट हिम सो ही वाज गिवन नॉट ही वाज नॉट गिवन अ राइट टू डिफेंड हिमसेल्फ इट वाज अ मॉक ट्रायल एंड उसको उसको सजा दी डेथ बाय हेमलॉक एंड सो व्हेन ही वाज गिवन द सेंटेंस दैट ही इज गोइंग टू ड्रिंक हेमलॉक एंड डाई then his followers were the children of the most richest people most influential people in athens so they went to their parents and they were like listen this is not cool he's a true guy he's an upright guy and we love him we respect him if you kill him it'll really hurt us and don't do this so then it was decided that if socrates says that i was a liar if socrates says that i was a liar and i was doing this for my own personal gain and i was corrupting the youth of athens for power in my own gain we will let him live and we will send him into exile then he can go wherever he wants to go and preach whatever he wants to preach but he has to first give a lie to his words mm-hmm. and so they were all very happy and they rushed to socrates he was in jail and they said master master live to fight another day just say that you're a liar and just save your life and go and then you can preach what does it matter what they think as long as you are alive the truth is alive you know and uh, if you die then your teaching dies with you if you die your teaching dies with you you stay alive and you can preach more master choose your life and you know what socrates said socrates said i do not know death i do not know death but i do know that to abandon your duty is a wrong thing so i will choose what i do not know over what i know to be wrong and then he drank the hemlock and he drank the hemlock aur uske baad ek urdu shayar ne kaha hai ke us pyale mein to zehar tha hi nahi us pyale mein to zehar tha hi nahi kyunki agar us pyale mein zehar hota to sukrat to mar jata hmm lekin sukrat to aaj bhi zinda hai wah yaar bhai I get yeah. it come whenever I talk about this but ke sukrat to aaj bhi zinda hai 
वो तो अभी भी जिंदा है हमारे बीच में भी जिंदा है सो ही कुड इधर चोजन अनदर टेन मोर ईयर्स यू सेवेंटी देन और ही कुड चूज टू टू बेनिफिट इन न्यूमरेबल पीपल ओवर द कमिंग मिलेनिया यू सी एंड सो वेन हिज आईज क्लोज एंड हिज आईज ट्रूली ओपन ही लाइक यस थैंक गॉड आई चोज टैम लॉक सो हमारी जिंदगी के अंदर भी यू सी द प्रॉफिट वॉज नॉट द प्रॉफिट वॉज नॉट यू नो हम लोग हम लोग ना स्पेशली प्रॉफिट के साथ बड़ी ज्यादा करते हैं हम उनका सारा क्रेडिट ले लेते हैं ह्यूमन बींग्स अब जैसे हमारे प्रॉफिट नबी करीम सल्लल्लाहु अलैहि वसल्लम है हमको लगता है वो तो अल्लाह से इंस्पायर्ड थे वो तो सब अल्लाह उनके साथ था क्या बट मतलब यू नो तो अल्लाह साथ है तो फिर आपने जीतना ही जीतना है तो क्या बट यू नो ही वॉज चोजन अमंग ऑल द्यूमन बींग ये बात नहीं है ही वॉज द प्रॉफिट बिकॉज ही मेड दो चॉइसिस He was the prophet because when he got stoned by kids in Taif and he was bleeding, he was crying to Allah. He prayed to Allah and he said, "Oh God, protect me from my own weakness." Yet he still chose to go on. You see, Hazrat Isa was Hazrat Isa because जब उनको पता था कि Romans उनको लेने आने और मार देंगे उनको Jews के साथ मिलके जब Last Supper की रात पे जब Allah से दुआ करते हैं कि Oh God, why have you forsaken me? He could have given up. but he chose you see as a, he was a human being he was a spiritual being but a human body just like we are spiritual beings in human body uh-huh. their spirit may be they may have a lot more of god than we do mm-hmm. but the fact that he had that choice and the fact that in that moment he chose to believe in allah and stand up for the right thing that is what made him who he was सो हमें लगता है कि वो ये तो ऑटोमेटिक था उन्होंने तो करना ही था बिकॉज अल्लाह साथ था नहीं ये डर उनके भी थे ये फियर्स उनके भी थे और इसीलिए वो ये हैं जो वो हैं नबी करीम सल्लल्लाहु अलैहि वसल्लम इसीलिए हमारे इतने अजीम इंसान हैं बिकॉज उन्होंने वो सारे फैसले किए वो सारी मुश्किलों मुश्किल फैसलों में कभी उन जब मौत का भी डर था तो डटे रहे आप समझ रहे हो सो इमेजिन दैट so he was he is who he is because of the choices that he made mm-hmm. and they were as subject to these human fears as we are mm-hmm. you see you know what i'm saying it wasn't easy for them because we all have this human experience god does not treat anybody unequally we all mm-hmm. given this so we all have the human experience and we will all have those choices and then we will all have to decide that is why not everyone lives forever you know well said read this well said. i read this i read this book called the katha upanishad you know the hindu culture you know i don't call people hindu muslim sikh isai um anymore i call these cultures because you see jis factory mein aap bane ho उसी फैक्ट्री में मैं भी बना हूँ उसी फैक्ट्री में अंग्रेज भी बना है उसी फैक्ट्री में चाइनीज भी बना है सिर्फ जो लास्ट स्टेज ऑफ असेंबली था जो डाइंग प्रोसेस था उसमें हमने पिगमेंट ज्यादा आ गई हमने पिगमेंट कम आ गई अदर देन दैट्स लाइक द आईफोन इज आईफोन इज लाइक अ रोज गोल्ड और अ ग्रे दैट से हार्डवेयर भी वही है सॉफ्टवेयर भी वही है सेम थिंग सो देर इज नो डिफरेंस ओनली डिफरेंस इज द कल्चर राइट सो नाउ आई डोंट कॉल एनी वन हिंदू मुसलमान वी ऑल सेम वी ऑल वन they are part of the same body and so katha upanishad ke do to hindu culture ne spirituality pe aur the nature of the mind pe bahut kaam kiya hazaron saal purani inki wo hai and they allah khair allah hai to deta hai different different khitton ko different different ilm deta hai so they have done a lot of work on the mind on the spirit and everything so you know i would recommend try to read their books also they very like me so katha upanishad ke andar ek there is this boy who wants to live eternally and uh, he goes to uh, the king of death main uska naam bhul raha hu mara uska naam hai aise kuch hai so he goes to the king of death and he says i want to live eternally i want to have yama 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 the ruler of death yama and uh, yama ko kehta hai i want to i want to know the secret to eternal life to yama usko kehta hai chhodo yaar kya karoge tum इटर्नल लाइफ का मैं तुम्हें इसी दुनिया में ऐसी लड़कियां दूंगा और इतनी सारी दूंगा 
और इतनी दौलत दूंगा और इतनी ताकत दूंगा और इतनी ब्यूटीफुल लड़कियां दूंगा कि जो तुम्हारी खूबसूरत तरीन लड़कियां हैं दे विल पेल इन कंपैरिजन टू दीस गर्ल्स फॉरगेट इटर्नल लाइफ गो बैक एंड आई विल मेक यू अ किंग ऑफ किंग्स गो बैक एंड सो द बॉय सेज टू यामा दैट श्योर आई विल गो बैक एंड आई विल हैव रिचेस बियॉन्ड मेजर एंड आई विल हैव वुमेन बियॉन्ड ब्यूटी एंड आई विल हैव पावर बियॉन्ड मेजर बट ओनली फॉर अ लिमिटेड टाइम and then my powers will go my health will deteriorate i will not be able to enjoy my riches i will not be able to enjoy my power i will not be able to enjoy the women and then i will die so don't fool me give me the secret to eternal life and then yama woh sari baatein phir yama usko sab batata hai ki spirituality ke bare mein ki this is this is it so usme se ek example wo deta hai jo kitni beautiful hai jo ki agar yahan is forum se logon ko pahunch gayi to i feel it'll be amazing because you see this is the beauty of this day and age that we're not limited to one culture one people the whole world is ours the whole culture is ours and now because of youtube because of audible audio books you can buy these books you can read these books so wisdom to sab insano ki hai aur sab insaan hamare hain sab unki puri heritage hamari hai excluding none so wo ye kehta hai ke jo jo human condition hai is like ke ye jo body hai is like a carriage okay which is driven by horses and your desires are the horses so this body is a carriage which is which is being driven by these really strong powerful mighty horses which are your desires okay but the driver of the carriage who has the reins in his hand is the you the real you the spirit jo hakiki hum hai so ghode bahut taakatwar hai aur bahut strong hai aur har koi alag jana chahta hai koi paise ke piche koi lucky ke piche koi lust ke piche greed ke piche har koi wana jana chahta hai aur bahut strong hai ghode lekin at the end of the day और कैरेज तो जहां घोड़े जाएंगे वहीं जाएगी बट एट द एंड ऑफ द डे इफ यू रियलाइज हु हैज द रेंज हु हैज द रेंज नो मैटर हाउ स्ट्रांग द हॉर्सेस आर ऑल यू नीड टू डू इज जस्ट टर्न द रेंज एंड दे फॉलो सो इफ यू अंडरस्टैंड दैट इट्स पार्ट ऑफ एनीथिंग दैट यू फील एनीथिंग दैट द बॉडी वांट्स यू ऑलवेज रिमेंबर हु हैज द रेंज हां यू हैव द रेंज द ड्राइवर ऑफ दिस कार has the reins who is the driver the essential god element inside you your spirit your root the one that is actually you he has the reins so usme se ye bahut beautiful baat mujhe mili thi which really mm-hmm. allows you to then understand the human condition and also when you're being tempted in so many ways you are also able to understand that your desires are these wild horses they want to be they want to go every whichever way and if you leave it up to them they'll lead you to ruin mm, but you understand nice. that you have the reins yeah you have the reins i think realize that to, and you have power yeah absolutely i think comes back to the point that you were talking about that power of choices that we have as human beings right and being able to just make that choice at the right time can actually take your tra- trajectory to a whole new different level but i would also i would also like to not add conditions right time no आदो प्रवीण कहते हैं कि तेरे बस में कुछ भी नहीं है तू ये जान तू झूम तू झूम तुम लोग को ये बताना है कि बेबी तू झूम बॉय तू झूम आई जस्ट वांट टू योर राइट टाइम आई एम सॉरी आई एम कटिंग यू ऑफ आर्ट बट आई वांटेड टू हियर दिस लाइव फ्रॉम यू तू झूम बेबी फ्रॉम यू बिकॉज़ आई हर्ड दैट ऑन द पॉडकास्ट आई वाज लाइक हेल यस ओके तो या सो या नो प्रेशर एवरीथिंग जो रमन महर्षि कहता है कि जो होना है ना वो होके रहेगा hmm. और चाहे तुम कुछ भी ना करो hmm. और जो नहीं होना है ना चाहे तुम कुछ भी कर लो नहीं होएगा सो जस्ट रिलैक्स डू यू डू और यू डोंट सिन प्रोकैस्टिनेट डू व्हाट एवर योर स्पिरिट योर सोल टेल्स यू व्हाट एवर इन साइड कम्स डू योर थिंग्स बट लीव द रेस्ट टू लीव द रेस्ट टू द यूनिवर्स लीव द रेस्ट टू अल्लाह वो एक एक वो संस्कृत के अंदर वो महाभारत में कोई हिंदू मिथोलॉजी में है के काम कर फल की चिंता ना कर करम कर करम कर यस यस करम कर फल की चिंता ना कर लाइक जस्ट डू एंड डोंट लुक फॉर द रिजल्ट 
detach yourself from result just do and don't expect anything just do your work ye hota na nahi ye karunga to ye milega acha nahi milega to nahi karunga do it just do the work and don't think about results your job is not the result your job is just to do okay so why are you involving yourself with something that's beyond your scope it only brings suffering and our mind is a champion in creating suffering for us because there is an enemy on the inside now it is an enemy but also give it love it is an enemy but give it love but know mm-hmm. this that your biggest enemy is your mind you know no matter how bad things happen to you on the outside no matter how bad things happen your mind will always magnified by 99% so essentially 1% injury ki 1% suffering honi chahiye your mind will magnified by 99% marcus aurelius actually actually heraclitus said that you're not bothered by things itself but by the view that you take of things interesting you're not bothered by things itself but by the view that you take of things so your mind magnifies your misery real life mein the misery hai nahi jo hai allah himmat de deta hai it is the mind that further adds on to the misery and creates that misery correct you know we seneca says we suffer more in imagination than reality mm-hmm. mark twain said i've known a great many troubles in my life none of which happened mm so your mind jo hai na is a misery creating machine and i recommend to everyone also you should recommend to all your clients to start meditating mm-hmm. because because you see as a psychotherapist what you're doing is that you are as a psychotherapist you are dealing with have you heard of the hydra you know what the hydra, hydra? Is? the hydra really. no. have you heard the legend of hercules i have yes Okay, so Hydra. One of the tasks that Hercules had to do was kill a three-headed monster called the Hydra. Now, now the thing with the Hydra was, and Hydra is based on a real, uh, real creature. Also, it's a small, tiny plant that can regrow. So Hydra का ये था कि if you kill one head, it'll grow two in its place. Right. So the three-headed Hydra is a big sea monster. You kill one, it grows two in its place. ठीक है. So so the thing is or or hydra ka ek jo head tha jo uska mortal head tha uska gala kaat do to mar jata tha baki do se padte rehte the so this is one head that you had to find and so with with psychotherapy what happens is that you work backwards mm-hmm. ki kya hua wa past mein jao usko resolve karo acha ab ye kya ho raha hai waise kya ho raha hai thoughts batao feelings batao sab kuch is great which is all good but you you're cutting one head of the hydra and two more are popping up mm. or you're just going back 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 instead meditation is that one sword that will just cut mm-hmm. the main head of the hydra one swoop and your whole troubles will get sorted that's right one just go to the head of the problem and so basically kya hota hai ke like i said you're not bothered by things but the view that you take of things past to khatam ho gaya na hmm khatam ho gaya na agar aap aaj zinda hain to uska matlab hai aap survive kar gaye past to khatam ho gaya future to bhi likha hi nahi hai a future to god's pen hai how can your limited mind or your arrogance think that you can predict what god's going to write so that's not happening hmm. the past is dead and if you're still alive today that means you've survived it and you're okay because if you're breathing right now then you're okay is moment when vaise jo bhi hua pass mein abhi theek ho abhi kaise alhamdulillah abhi theek ho kya kuch bhi hua pass abhi to theek ho na so you're always okay in the now like right now what is there right now right now we're okay because right now lava to kuch hai hi nahi but but in but if you when you start meditating you know studies get the ek average insaan ke dimag mein 50000 se 70000 thoughts aati hain every day 90% of which are recurrent uh loop thoughts which are negative shame inducing guilt inducing negative belittling thoughts which limit you right so when you start meditating उससे क्या होता है दैट यू गेट अ विंडो इनटू योर माइंड 
when you start meditating meditation you meditation is like meditation mein apne karna ye hota hai that you got to go back and find an anchor and the most common and the easy anchor is your breathing so you just focus on your breathing and then you look at your thoughts to so eventually aista aista se there comes a point where you start seeing your thoughts as thoughts and not part of you because right now whatever pops up in your head and we are so identified with thought that we immediately believe it and then alongside your thought is a subsequent emotional reaction and then we get carried away in that it's like we get carried away by the rapid river and then eventually you start to the calm the circle that they finally thodi bearing aati hai calm water aate nikal ke aate oh i was thinking how much matter phir ek thought aati phir dariya mein behte sare din aise guzar jate hain but once you start meditating and you start focusing on your breathing you start seeing the thoughts as separate from you because you are not mm-hmm. your thought yeah you're not your thoughts just that breathing is an automatic activity of the mind so are your thoughts an automatic activity of your mind mm-hmm. and they're not true 99.9% thoughts are not true because they're about the future or the past and none of that is true it's only now aur isliye jo mind ki tum baat kar rahe ho na mind ka jo amazing part hai na wo now mein aata hai mind ka jo fucked up part hai wo past or future ko plan karne mein aata hai jo ki mind kar hi nahi sakta hai now we must be facing it because now is doing the cognitive things planning processing abhi to mujhe sun rahe ho notes bana rahe ho soch rahe ho that's your mind the cognitive part but once i've gone then you start thinking about this emotion or that emotion or either then you're in the deluge got it so uh meditate karne se you get that empowerment where you start seeing your thoughts so tell all your clients to meditate because your goal is not to have patience your goal is to improve their lives and if you can improve their lives you will never have to me jaise abhi main exam ke liye padhne ki koshish kar raha hu to maine ek mahine ki chutti li but abhi bhi mujhe log nahi chhod rahe like even right now i have to tell my coordinator okay no nothing nothing i can't do it i've been trying to study for the exam for a year and i've been trying but i can't because there's no time to get it so agar tum sach bologe aur the art log ko bhejne ke baad dono ko operate karta hu what a bad business model well but here i am yeah that's right it's not absolutely such abundance mashallah yeah mashallah such abundance and we don't want wealth we want abundance ke jo jab chahiye wo correct i think that's well, the power of you know being a genuine human being and i think it reflects yeah. right so no matter you say or not no matter you smile or not no matter you use words or not it'll show from your it'll personality show. and i think it's the core of it right it's the core of your values that make you do that today and i think what you're saying is absolutely correct because mindfulness has been my journey as well so i've been into it for quite some time and i think that has helped me really be and it's interesting because it's called the mindful podcast um where we don't speak for the sake of speaking but we speak because we'd like to sort of you know express and you know help the other person understand better and all what you can do is speak the other person can perceive it as as however they want to right that's the beauty of perception as well so uh, yeah i've had a great relationship with mindfulness myself and it has been quite an interesting journey to be on there's a word jo angrezi mein bilkul nahi hai thehrao it's a beautiful word um and i feel you know being able to just stay in that level of flow or the terao can be immensely beautiful for us human beings because that helps us connect even better so um yeah anyone who's listening i would definitely recommend mindfulness just as a way to bring yourself back to your center so beautifully said bahan mm. thank yeah. you thank you at this way i'm going to now unfortunately i'm going to now have to go on पढ़ाई भी करनी है फिर नमाज भी पढ़नी है फिर इफ्तार का टाइम भी हो रहा है पर इट्स बिन अ ट्रू प्लेजर टॉकिंग टू यू एंड यू आर सो राइट योर जेन्यूननेस कम्स थ्रू एंड लाइक आई से दैट द ह्यूमन माइंड इज द मोस्ट एडवांस्ड टेक्नोलॉजी ऑन द प्लेनेट द ह्यूमन बॉडी सो व्हाट यू मैनिफेस्टेड व्हाट व्हाट व्हाटएवर यू सेंट अक्रॉस आई फेल्ट विदाउट सीइंग यू आई फेल्ट अक्रॉस कॉन्टिनेंट्स एंड इट्स नॉट थ्रू द फोन आई फेल्ट इट and so we've got to understand that we are so much more than what meets the eye and like i said i don't know why i'm doing this but i am doing this you know i didn't even check what what channel you're on what you do but i'm mm-hmm. doing this 
you see so don't so so there must be a connection there must have the power of the human mind the power of the human heart the power of the human body if the iphone can transmit information without touching without saying a word i'm sure as hell our minds can do so much more and like i like it did i'm here aren't i absolutely so, now i would i would really like to thank you for for doing this um i don't know why you're doing this you don't know why you're doing this but i'm glad that we've been able to be but in I know this the conversation heart knows. But the heart, <laughs> the mind doesn't know, but the yeah. mind doesn't need to know. But the heart knows because there's a plan for everything. There's a divine plan, and you don't want to get in the way. You just go with the flow. Yeah. Thank you yeah. so much. Thank you. Thank you so much for your time, man. Thank I you. really appreciate your presence. You, no, thank you, buddy. And I wish you all the luck. Uh, you're a great soul. You're a very intelligent, capable being. I can see it in your eyes and your mannerisms, and you will go very far. um i wish you all the luck and i don't need to give you any advice because you're already there you are filled with love and your genuineness and sincerity and persistence and i wish you all the luck and i wish this is the prayer that i used to pray to god as a child and again khalil jibran kehta hai ki it is his words through your mouth to wo alfaz bhi wohi dil mein dalta hai for what would a little kid know so it's his prayers it is his words through your mouth it's his words and so i used to pray ki ya allah make me a beacon of shining light in the darkness for others amen and so may you also be a beacon of shining light in the darkness for others may you also light the way because you definitely light the way because in your line of work people are really suffering mental ailments mm-hmm. are and a lot of people are very healthy but because of but again because i identify so much with thought you see that's the problem identification with thought if if people lived in the here and the now 90% of depression would be gone only the 10% which is really chemically induced in that with medication but with the right thought even with the right thought you can change your biology so the main problem is the thought is the mm-hmm. ego is the thought of control so all you got to do is give your patients an understanding that the thought is not them that this we need to disidentify with thought and observe That's thought right. and if you give that to your patients you will transform their lives and, and that's what jung also differed from mm-hmm. freud because freud wanted to do the classic uh, psycho psycho analysis break mm-hmm. everything down and analyze everything and, and jung said that the mind is not capable of doing that there is mm-hmm. so much more that is beyond the mind and we don't need to do that also what do you need to do for your breathing to happen nothing because the formula is not there for breathing go karne ke you are let yourself be right you need to put any formula so also just and also when you, and you know also feel like oh my god what do i have to do you have to do nothing you only have to shine the light of awareness and your body will do the rest and your mind will do the rest and your being will do your being is is wisdom is beyond anything that you have seen trust it just shine the light of awareness just be aware okay thought hai maine mm-hmm. and uh, you know so one last thing i'll say before i go i think this is very useful how you know that thought is lying how you know that thought is not true you got to do with your patients this will help them a lot also tell them that every time they're invited to a dinner or to an event just observe what thoughts that pop up and the thoughts that pop up are that you start imagining oh this person is going to be there i don't have any clothes to wear what if i meet this person they've seen me in those clothes oh i don't like that person what will i say to them oh they will come kya hoga oh no will they say hi to me not hi to me all these things pop up and you start feeling miserable and you're like oh let's not even go right mm-hmm. but so whenever they're invited to an event or a dinner dinner always works because it's small and you can remember just remember all the thoughts that pop up in your head just remember them just remember them if you identify with them it's fine just remember all the thoughts that pop up in your head and when you actually do go to the dinner then actually look at what actually happened yeah, and you will realize that none of the things that popped up in your head happened yeah. and by and by as you keep on doing this experiment by and by as you keep on doing this very soon you'll know that this predictor is a liar this prediction is a lie so like jab kehte hain barish nahi hogi to barish hoti hai jab kehte hain barish hogi to barish nahi hoti hai so ye jo weather forecast hai is complete lie so you will then discard it and ye tab hoga jab heart knowing aayegi aur ye only tab hoga you kuch nahi karna hai aapne aapne khali observe karna hai aware rehna hai ki acha thoughts ye keh rahi hai we'll see and then when you go to the dinner they'll actually look at what happens and then gradually you will get an insight and then you'll understand and then the the hold of thought on you will become lessen and lessen and lessen and the goal lao tzu kehta hai 
to a mind that is still, the whole universe surrenders. So the goal is to be where there is no mind. And you just be like the birds are being. So you be like the sun is being. You be like Mount Everest is being. You be like the mighty oak is being. That is how you be. That's the goal. Beautiful message. I think um, that would definitely stay with me and my clients as well as I progress in my career. So it was a pleasure speaking to you, Sahad. Heartfelt. Thank you for doing this.